Hello students! Welcome to the video lesson intended for you, Grade 7 students. I am your teacher, Teacher April. Good morning everyone! So our lesson for week 2 for this quarter is the relationship between angles. So this will be our objectives for today. So at the end of the lesson, the learners will be able to describe congruent angles and vertical angles, illustrate supplementary and complementary angles, describe linear pair and adjacent angles, and define intersecting lines, perpendicular lines, and parallel lines. When we say congruent angles, these are angles that have the same measurement. For example, angle ABC measures 75 degrees and angle PQR also measures 75 degrees. So we can say that the measure of angle ABC is equal to the measure of angle PQR. So therefore, they are congruent. So in symbol, we can write this as angle ABC is congruent to angle PQR. So take note of the symbol for congruent. Okay? So again, if two angles are congruent, then they have the same measurements. How about complementary and supplementary angles? What does it mean? Now, look at this, these two angles. We have angle ABC that measures 40 degrees and angle DEF which measures 50 degrees. Now, if you add their measurements, what is the sum? The sum is 90 degrees. So that is 40 degrees plus 50 degrees equals 90 degrees. So therefore, these two angles are called complementary angles. So in symbol, that is measure of angle ABC plus the measure of angle DEF is equal to 90 degrees. So take note, if the sum of two angles is equal to 90 degrees, then... The angles are complementary angles. Okay, what about these two angles? We have angle PQR, which measures 30 degrees. And we have angle STU, which measures 150 degrees. Now, if you add their measurements, what is the sum? The sum is... 180 degrees. So that is 30 degrees plus 150 degrees equals 180 degrees. So therefore, these two angles are supplementary angles. So in symbol, that is the measure of angle PQR plus the measure of angle STU is equal to 180 degrees. So take note again, if the sum of two angles is equal to 180 degrees, then the angles are supplementary angles. Now, let us define intersecting lines and vertical angles. Two lines are intersecting if they have a common point. And this common point is called the point of intersection. So this is an example of intersecting lines, wherein the point of intersection is the common point. When we say vertical angles, these are two non-adjacent angles formed by two intersecting lines. Pag sinabing non-adjacent, hindi magkatabing angles. For example, Angle 1 and angle 2 is a pair of vertical angles. So, hindi sila magkatabi. We have also angle 3 and angle 4 is also a pair of vertical angles. Vertical angles are congruent. So, if the angles are vertical, then they have the same measurements. For example, yung angle 1 measures 120 degrees. Angle 2 also measures 120 degrees. Angle 3 measures 45 degrees. Therefore, angle 4 also measures 45 degrees. 
Now, let us define adjacent angles in linear pair. Two angles are adjacent if they have a common side and common vertex, but no common interior points. So, this is the common side and this is the common vertex. Let's say, for example, angle BEN and angle TEN have a common side of ray EN. Since these two angles have common side, therefore, we can say that they are adjacent angle. Another example of adjacent angle is this one. Angle 1 and angle 2. So, they have common vertex and common side. Another is angle 2x and angle x. Okay. If in case you are the measures of two adjacent angles and you have a sum of 180 degrees, then the angles form a linear pair. So, this is an example of the linear pair, wherein the sum of two angles must be 180 degrees. Let's say, for example, the measure of angle 1 is 30 degrees. And the measure of angle 2 is 150 degrees. We can say that angle 1 and angle 2 form a linear pair. Okay? We add the measurement of two angles, it will sum up with 180 degrees. That is the measure of angle 1 is 30 degrees plus the measure of angle 2 which is 150 degrees then the sum is 180 degrees. Okay? So, if the sum of the angles of linear pair measures 180 degrees then it is a pair of Supplementary angles. Let us define perpendicular lines and parallel lines. When we say perpendicular lines, these are intersecting lines that form a right angles. For example, line L is perpendicular to line T. Line M is perpendicular to line N. These two intersecting lines form a right angle. In symbol, that is L is perpendicular to T, M is perpendicular to N. When we say parallel lines, these are lines that do not intersect. There is no or they have no point of intersection. So, for example, line R is parallel to line S. Line W is parallel to line Z. So, in symbol, we have R is parallel to S, W is parallel to Z. Okay? So, that is the difference between perpendicular and parallel lines. Now, it's time for you to answer the assimilation part. You're going to fill in the blanks. Number one, if two angles have equal measurements, then they are blank. Number two, if the sum of two angles is 90 degrees, then they are called blank. But if their sum is 180 degrees, then they are called blank. Number three. If two angles are vertical angles, then they are blank. Number four. A linear pair is blank angles whose sum is blank. Number five, perpendicular lines are blank lines that form blank angles, while parallel lines are lines that do not blank. Okay, so write your answer on your paper. On your assessment part, you're going to answer the quiz. Choose only the letter of your best answer. Write the answer on your paper. Thank you for watching. Always remember, study with love, study with all your heart. 
Please do like, share, and subscribe for more updates. Stay safe. God bless.